How's it going guys? I'm Oz and welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead. I'm really apprehensive, I'm really excited, but most of all, um, I'm kind of disappointed because, spoilers, I killed off Alvin in the last episode of The Walking Dead and the responses I got from only a few people, uh, most of you were pretty cool about it, but all of you were saying that I fucked up and all that sort of thing, and I don't, I don't really care about that sort of thing, but the way that I've been seeing it lately with these games, I've really become good friends with a lot of people from Telltale Games, and there's one guy in particular, Ryan, and with that scene, he actually worked on that whole end scene from the last episode of The Walking Dead. He spent an extra 200 hours of his own time working on that scene to give it that sort of fork road ending. And it was just, I didn't realise that he'd made that scene at the time. And I really loved it because I thought it really presented what, you know, how chaotic something can go really quickly and how there's so many variables that can impact. And, for people to say that I fucked up and that I did things the wrong way with a game like this is just so wrong. I don't think people like that should be playing a game like this to be honest because, you know, if you're going to have such a linear approach to this sort of thing then, you know, why aren't you playing Fable where there's just one ending? And I'm just upset because this guy is really awesome. With this episode, he worked on this one as well. I don't know what he worked on, obviously, but he was working 18 hours a day. So I wish people would learn to appreciate that there's more than one way of playing this game. And it's awesome people like him that make, that put these games together to give it to us, so. Basically, if you're going to say that I'm going to fuck up in this episode, you know, screw you guys, you can go off somewhere else because I don't have time for people like that. Because I don't think you realise how hard people work for this. So, without further ado, I want to say the biggest, biggest thank you to Ryan and all of the guys at Telltale Games because I appreciate what you do and all the hard work that you put into it. And I just wish that, you know, because everyone gets so caught up on the voice actors and stuff. And they're just, like, I love the voice actors. I'm, I'm great friends with um, Owen, who did the voice of Omid and stuff like that. And it's not that I don't have any appreciation for them, but it's more than just voice actors, guys. There's, a, there's so much work that goes behind this. There's no right or wrong way. There's just whatever you pick. So... Thank you guys from Telltale Games. I love you. And let's get on with it. <laughs> that really was a brilliant time for Steam to cock itself, wasn't it? Right. I'm really apprehensive about this episode in the sense that, I don't know, it's just a hunch. I'm, I'm beginning to see a bit of a trend where people are dying. If something happens to Kenny, I know there's a lot of people that don't like him, they think of him as an arsehole and stuff like that, but I really love Kenny. I never really liked any of the other people because we never got a chance to really get to know them. And I mean, they wanted to chop my arm off when we first met. I mean, how can people warm up to that? Please don't do anything to Kenny. Previously on the walk. Why are they still using Lee's voice? Not that I'm complaining, it's a nice voice. Who do you think did this? I remember that. As we... Think about it. Your carver, what do you do? A lot of our What's the most important there? thing in this world? Clement's family. Mm. People like Matthew aren't coming back. At least that's a bit safe. Right. Good. Hey! Shame you're dead now. <laughs> Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you f Oh, he's definitely dead then. That's okay. We're going home. As a family. <laughs> I 
I wanted Carver dead. I should have... Everything happened so quickly. That I, you just didn't think that, oh no, he's not going to die now. So, I guess when you look at it from that perspective. Okay. You really shouldn't... You really shouldn't touch the butterflies because the dust comes off. You got done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know yeah. they made you. That it's what? still nice that you came. We're friends. Friends look out for one another. Oh God, we are, aren't we? Well, if you need to pee, let me know. I'll keep look out for you too. Yeah, just be like, uh, the days okay. of scouts. Watching each other piss in the trees. Everything come out all right, girls? What? <laughs> Joy, get them tied up. <laughs> well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? Where's your manners? I know. This is still got. <laughs> no! <laughs> fuck stop. you! Don't hit my friend. You don't want to test me, girl. I'll pass every time. Leave her alone. Tie her up and throw her in with the rest of them. See, there's a lot of hate towards Bonnie. But I never saw that, I never saw that her, like, you know, joining Carver's side. Bonnie was always really submissive. And Carver, he's a right asshole. I mean, look at him. I never thought that, like, Bonnie would be willing to do this shit. She's just doing what she's told. Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey! Did he hurt you? Hey! Hey! Interesting. Obviously, Carver has no standards, so we've got to be really careful because we can end up losing some fingers, I think. That's not such a good thing. Right? <laughs> oh god, Oz, you made him hit Clem. <sighs> gotta be so careful. No one's saying anything. <laughs> oh my god, this is so tense. This is nothing's happening. I suppose. Alright, we gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? I think they know where they're going. We need to get these bindings off. That's why. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? What the hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. The truck's empty. First off, we're in it, so it ain't exactly empty. If you don't want to help, then just say so, okay? I'll do it myself. We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Settle that. Sit down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? <laughs> Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's what? worse. Oh. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. What do you mean, worse? He's a fucking psychopath now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. That's why oh, he so gave quiet. me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. 
Like you helped Alvin. <laughs> That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. <laughs> Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. Hello. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Oh shit, jackpot. Sit down, you're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kettle like a bunch of fucking dogs, it's over. You don't know that. Yeah, well I've been in this situation uh... before. You ever been a prisoner? We've all been prisoners. Why do you think we left? Kenny, please, calm down. I think everyone is just tired and cranky. She's right. We should all take it down a bit. All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. Yeah. There they are. Oh, God. Okay. Everything's gonna be fine. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Yeah, what happened Who with him? Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. That guy's a flake. I could tell the second I set eyes on him. Kenny, please calm down, please. I'm calm, Sarita. I look angry to you. We'll have to wait and see. It's all we can do. She's right. There's no way to know what's happened to him. I told you already. He's gone. See, a lot of people seem to think that Kenny killed him. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? <sighs> Kenny, please, just, just listen to them. They know him. What he's capable of. I... I'm scared, Kenny. Okay, hon. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Everybody ready? Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? <laughs> Is he okay? I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. <laughs> God, brakes ain't working for shit. All right. Up and at him. <laughs> Fuck! How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Come on. Come on. Don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. Be patient with them until it does. You <laughs> take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did. But we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. It's pretty insane. Well, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. Yeah, so I know that's the girl that we saw before. Come on, we need you for something. Can I wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come to fuck on. He said that there's a large load of uh, lurkers coming. I need him. I need my dad. I, I can't. He's... He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project... Uh, he'll be back, he'll be back, he'll be back. He'll be back. When? Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. God, you're so needy. He will come back. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue... Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can see you if you're messing with it. Just to survive, it's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light, a bright light, bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest. Oh, there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. 
Mm. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Reggie! <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie helped us you, but when we ran away. I know. I feel the same way. Why didn't he go with you guys when you left? I think maybe he was supposed to, but then he fell, and everybody kept running. Mm. I know he had both his arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker <clears throat> snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. Wow! That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Hey, Reggie. Oh. We could have hey, saved Troy. Lee. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. Kenny, did you see that? We Let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh. Hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. It's okay. It freaks me out too sometimes. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. That's okay, it's still the right hand. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. <clears throat> oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? <laughs> and Alvin? Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. He looks a lot like Lee. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired. But, like I said, he saved my life, so... I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. <laughs> it was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so... I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. Mm. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. It's probably bullshit. Who's she? Hmm? Who? The girl over there. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. Ew. <laughs> I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. Oh. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, at the cabin. We just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just <laughs> saying, it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. I know that, but I'm starting to see what this place offers. I didn't before, and with the accident, it's just that much more important now. Listen. You seem like a nice enough guy, but Carver is a fucking maniac. We're busting out of this place as soon as possible. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, 
The fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. After what he did to Alvin, <laughs> I want him dead. <laughs> Uh, I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, uh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Man, fuck that guy. Mm. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I think he's just scared. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Well, what should I be looking for? Stuff that they don't want us to know about. Mm. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. <laughs> <clears throat> There's all Walker sorts of just snuck up on you, huh? Beds and stuff. Yep. He's really interesting. Although he's really grumpy, so that probably wasn't such a good idea. Hello? Get lost. You could use that as like a battering ram. There's a rope up there. I still think he got higher than he needed to, but what are you going to do? There's a rope there. I saw a fella try that a few months ago. Just ended up bleeding out. Ended up turning anyway. Yeah, like I said, it felt like Mike had done it before. He had a tourniquet on me real quick. I want to listen to their conversation Kenny was talking about a few months ago. Must be soil for the greenhouses. Looks kind of crappy. You end up with a name like Reggie. Kenny! What? I'm just asking. No, it's okay. It's not my real name. On well, my first day in the US, I stopped and got a coffee. I didn't treat him very well these last few weeks. Things got so complicated so fast. It became all about getting through each day. I'm trying real hard to remember the last time I told him that I loved him. I've been racking my brain, but I just can't remember. He's watching over you, so he sees you now and he knows how you feel about him. I hope that's true. <clears throat> all right, get going. I'll be fine. I appreciate you checking up on me. No offense, but what kind of man is that when you get a little girl to find baked beans for you instead of him finding it himself, you know, like... <laughs> this is terrible. I'm trying to be good. What? Reggie asked me to be good, so I'm being good. I don't want him to get in trouble. I'll talk to you later. Huh. <clears throat> Music's like really, really tense. I'm mm, freaking out over it. Looks rickety. Let's talk to Nick. Hey, clown. Nick. <clears throat> Just thinking about Luke. Just, there's no way he's gone. That he left. How about it? Cause me, I've known him for damn near twenty years now, and I can't buy it. Of course, I can't say the thought never crossed my mind. Things change. Whole damn world change. Yeah. Yeah, he's still out there. You watch. I... I don't know. Well, I do. He'll show up. You can count on it. <sighs> Guess I'll try and get some sleep. You should, too. They're gonna ride our asses tomorrow for sure. Okay. Night. I suppose if Clem would have thought it was Molly, you know. Kinda reminds me of Molly. That lady. 
It's all suspicious and shit. I guess it's time to talk to Kenny. I can't find anything else that would be of any hose reel. <clears throat> is, that, is there actually a hose in there? Doesn't work. Look at fence gap. There's no way you can get through that fence, so. We're gonna have to jump up and over. I'm really worried about the walkers. Dad! Alright, go the fuck to sleep. I'm shooting the first one of y'all I see wandering around before sunup. Everybody get to bed. Yeah, so. Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'll try. You'll do just fine. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. I don't see why, like, Carver would hate on us, though. Thanks for kicking me, prick. Don't kick me. Gonna kick me it's again. rude. Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. Troy might remember that. <laughs> There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now, there are some folks might be sore about what happened and how things went. Hmm. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here, forgiveness, by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. Reggie, you're nearly back in. Keep following the path and we'll welcome you back with open arms. How'd you sleep? Oh, really? I'll let Reggie be an example to you all. I was so tired. Salvation is available, but it I didn't even must be earned. That. Pay attention. Kenneth will be we'll taking over later, Reggie's okay? duties outside okay, the wall. Okay, yeah. Sounds good. Michael will continue on I showing just his value. Nice finally... Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. S I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. My... I'm not sure with my hand that I... Well, could... that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! You're not some namby-pamby thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. Just get it over with. No! Please! She won't do it again. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you! Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. Dad, I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. You want to take your glasses off? Shit hurts when you get hit with glasses on. Do it. <laughs> I'm 
sorry, sir. Stop! You're not coddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. What? <laughs> Soil, coming up! God damn this thing. Oh, shit. Clementine! Hey, Shell. Your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Who is this? She's one of the new people. She was with Carlos and Sarah. Uh, and... Sarah? I wish she'd stayed gone. She's had a hard time, Becca. Becca's so still we. a bitch. We're not sitting on the ground like babies. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. <laughs> I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. Mm. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. At least it was mine going into it. Carver's the one who pulled the trigger. He's to blame. Yeah, but I surely didn't help matters. I thought if I was the one that found everyone, I could control it. Keep everyone safe. But that ain't how it went. Oh I apologize. God. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? Cold. I know it ain't so comfortable, off. but it's safe. Which is more than I can say about a lot of places out there. It was cold. Well, you got them skinny arms, and you ain't wearing a jacket. I wasn't given one. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. Oh, really? When Luke approached me about it, I, th I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food, and Bill, he... He wasn't always like this. Why didn't you leave, I mean? If I'm being honest, I guess I chickened out. It sounds like Bonnie. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take the situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. Herds have come through before? Yeah. It's happened a few times. We've always come out on the other end, all right? It's something I think about whenever I consider leaving. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... <sighs> I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. And there's something to that. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Mm. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but... I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. You need to just Okay, I'll up. be right over. Or is that a different chick? I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. A jumper? That would be lovely right now. Oh! Please. Huh? What do you think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for skiing. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. 
I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you'd think. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? <sighs> Tavia. What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Tavia's all like Follow sweet talkings and stuff, but she's just as bad as fucking Carver. Makes you wonder what would happen if like none of them left to go to the thing. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. Well, maybe Bonnie would have gone either way. That's Sarah. <laughs> God. Hey. This is just fact. <laughs> a hug always. Do you want a hug? Let's just hope the jacket doesn't smell. Okay. Well, I owe you one for later then. You might not know what's coming though, but <laughs> I could just sneak up on you when you're not expecting it. Is that the right wording to My use? My dad's never hit me before. Oh, it's not your dad that hit you, love. Even when I was really bad. <laughs> he never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. Mm -hmm. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. There you go. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. Oh, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Yeah. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Is that really safe? Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Yep. Seems easy enough. Hey, so... Is she gonna be okay? Cause what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I talked to her. I think she's okay. Good, good. Because I'm awful at that stuff. Yeah, Look, you're going to open Bill's had it out help. for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. <laughs> Don't patronize that me like that. was awkward. <laughs> I won't do that again. Off you go. I'm gonna go work yeah, now. Off you go. Do, do you think? I'm an armed man. I'm going to pause it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. It's just going to go down soon. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Oh, oh, you cute. Oh, man. Man, doing Okay. That or a ladder. It's too heavy for Clem.